I've known this was coming for a while, I just didn't know it was going to be today. Knights of the Zodiac live action movie 2023 official teaser trailer. So before we even get into this, I want to talk about some red flags I've already noticed. This is a movie that's going to be in theaters worldwide and for some reason the YouTube channel promoting it only has 661 subscribers. That's a lot less than I have, right? And I'm a small ass YouTuber and I'm at like 900 or something, right? This is supposed to be a live action movie, whole production, and we have 661. That's a yikes for me. Now, subscriber count won't amount to the movie being bad or anything. And in a way, it shouldn't be that surprising considering that Saint Seiya isn't popular worldwide, only in select countries. You know, it didn't have the chance to explode like other anime like Dragon Ball, you know? So it's just the unfortunate situation that we're in. Um, the second red flag is the fact that this movie is called Knights of the Zodiac and not Saint Seiya. Yes, they're going by that name. Sometimes it's called Saint Seiya Knights of the Zodiac, but whenever it's just called Knights of the Zodiac, it can't be good. It can't be good. I'm just I'm just going to lay it out there. It's not good. When you have a Saint Seiya IP or property released and it just goes under the name Knights of the Zodiac, that just reeks of censorship and westernization. That means name changes of characters and various aspects of the series being altered. This has happened twice, if I recall correctly, once through uh, an early English dub that was done by Deke, and a second time by Netflix. Yeah, those are just tainted versions of Saint Seiya that I personally wouldn't fuck with at all. Um, and this looks like a movie I might have to skip. But, um, but um, I'm willing to give it a chance. Or should I say, I'm willing to give this trailer a chance. Now, the third red flag is a bit unfair, but I'm going to play this card anyway. This is a live-action anime movie, and you guys know the stigma against live-action anime movies. They're just never good. Only a select few has been good. Um, one of them being Alita Battle Angel. I think that was pretty good, but Cowboy Bebop was horse shit. And that was like the latest one I can remember, I think. Uh, not sure if they dropped another. But here we are. And that's the Zodiac. I could go on and on about reasons why this is going to suck ass. But I think we should just dive into it. So let's see what we're dealing with here. I will say, though, this shot right here does look promising. But me, with the knowledge I know, I'm going in here with low expectations. Let's see what we're dealing with. This is so unfortunate. In days of legend. Oh god. Why does it look like a video game? I'm not trying to start off with like straight off negativity, which is exactly what I did at the you know intro, but I think that looked cool, but In days of legend. Yeah, it does not look real at all. Gods. The gold saints, right? Hold on, let me go back one more time. It said gods. In day See, I'm thinking that it's going to start at the sanctuary, but if they're saying gods. Days of legend. Gods. Let me not make any assumptions. Walk the earth. Toy animation. This is official. Okay, Sony. Say it. What if I told you? Say it's a little older. Returned in human form. Athena. Okay. And you. They're calling him Saya. Well, he was always called Seiya, so it's the other Bronze Saints we have to worry about. Their names. Become one of her guardian knights. Oh. Oh. I don't know how I feel about this armor. You know what this is reminding me of? This is reminding me of that CG Saint Seiya movie. Now, when it comes to making live action adaptations of both comic books and movies, you don't want to adapt it to the T. You don't want it to be exactly the same as the source material. You want, like, Changes, you know, unique changes to the story, or else whoever's a fan of the shit is gonna know what's gonna happen already. Sometimes that leads to the design changes. I want to say the CGI Saint Seiya movie that came out a while ago. If in Japan it was a Japan exclusive movie, it was a CG 3D movie. Um, I want to say if that was live action, that's pretty much they approach it as if they would a live action anime movie or a live action movie in general, a live action adaptation. They change certain things, but. Me, I think the movie was cool until later on. It, like, as the movie go, went on, it started turning to shit. 
But this looks like shit from the start. I don't like the way his cloth looks. Uh, oh my bad. They might not even call it cloth. They might call it armor on this. My bad. I'm, 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 you know, I'm cultured. Forgive me for being cultured, but the mask looks like shit. You know, I know that. You know what? It sort of does look like a real knight's ma uh, helmet. But I'm just used to the saints having their faces exposed. You know, it, it just looks weird to me. Now, if it wasn't saying say the armor itself looks good, but are destined to become one of her guardian knights. As like a Saint Seiya cloth? Nah. I'd say your therapist is more this paycheck. <laughs> 2023. Hold on, let me make sure the settings are all the way up. I wanna do this as much justice. Oh, it is. Okay. This is a low budget film. It has to be. Okay. All right, we got Eagle Marin. Interesting. My hair's really long, but whatever. What is that? Supposed to be a Black Saint? I'm guessing. All right, that looked cool. That looked cool right there. That looked cool. A lot of military bullshit. Just like the Netflix version. So we didn't see any other Bronze Saints. It's just Saya. Not much to go on. Um, yeah, not much to go on at all, to be honest. They didn't even give you time to, like, fucking press cancel. Shit is annoying. So, yeah, here we are. Knights of the Zodiac. Let me scroll. I want to see something. In theaters globally, 2023, starring... We got Saya... We got Sienna, Sienna. Oh, yeah, we're fucked. They're calling her Sienna instead of uh, Sayori. Yeah, we're fucked. We are definitely fucked, my friends. Oh, instead of Iki, we got Nero. Yeah, all right. So this is done. This this one's ruined already, guys. Um, yeah, this is exactly the same as a Netflix version, just live action. I'm not watching this shit. Uh, just one scroll is all it took to see, you know? Yeah, this this just going by the Western lore, all the script changes that you see in the Western versions. I'm not looking forward to this at all. It's not like the Saints here that we're, we're it's not the Saints here that we're looking for. Disappointment. A shame, but it's the reality of the situation. You know, I went in with low expectations, you know? I'm not, I'm not surprised at all. I don't know why they just refuse to just stick to the original names, you know? They keep going with this westernization bullshit where they just change the names to shit that, you know, I, I don't know, I could just rant. But these are rants I've already said in, like, older Saint Seiya videos on my channel, so I don't feel like saying it again. You guys already know how I feel about the uh, English version of Saint Seiya. The name changes and all that shit, I hate it. It's ass, it's garbage, it's bullshit. Netflix had a dub of the original Saint Seiya um, and they lost the rights to that, but that dub was amazing. The only way you could get to it is, uh, by pirating, and that's Toei's fault. If you guys want to watch Saint Seiya in his purest form in English, you're going to have to go to a pirate website because Toei is not making it available for you, for us to watch, unfortunately. But that's just the way it is. Here we are. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe for more content like this. And I don't want to make another video. I don't, but I might. We'll see what happens. Peace.